What's going on guys, uh, Clutch and Emma here, and today I'm going to show you a really useful tutorial on how to change your IP address with a Linksys router. Um, I'm pretty sure this can be done with other routers, but I have a Linksys, so that's what I'll be showing you on. And I'm pretty sure there's other tutorials on YouTube on how to do this, but I didn't see too many like Full HD, and it didn't. Uh, they don't all explain it too well, so I want to explain it really well. And here we go. Um, first thing you want to do is go down to your start button and type in CMD which will open up your command prompt just click enter now once this opens up you want to um, type in ipconfig like this click enter then just scroll up to you see default gateway what the hell is all this shit I don't even know whatever and then um, you see it's 192.168.1.1 I'm pretty sure that's like for all Linksys routers pretty sure it is but right there um, you want to get your default gateway and open up your uh, browser Let's make a new tab here alright now type that in up there 192 alright here it is just click enter alright see I was just doing it so it's not gonna make me enter my password but you're most likely it's gonna make you enter your username and password so once you're here you're gonna go to, um, your, well sorry it's already going to put you on setup here, and you just want to go to uh, Mac address clone. All right, once you're there, it'll most likely be disabled. If it is, just put it on enabled, and don't touch any of the first ones right here. All you want to touch is the last two. Change it from anywhere here. I'll show you. Here it is, from zero zero to FF. So I can change mine to like, um, I don't know. F4, something like that. AA, anything you want, really. So, um, so once you do that, guys, whenever you have it on there, you want to click Save Settings, but what it will disconnect you from the internet. So all you want to do is um, unplug your router and your modem for like 20 seconds and just plug it back in. Like if you have like the Linksys E3000, I would not suggest you reset it because it has this thing called like Cisco connect and once you reset a router it will um put like factory default settings on there so it'll put everything back to default like your port forwarding and shit like that so just unplug them for like 20 seconds your modem, modem and your router plug them back in and you should be good to go your IP will be changed and uh in the case if you're getting like hit offline or something like that so if you guys have um any trouble with this just let me know I'll be sure to help. So, um, that's it, guys. Remember to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright, see ya.